Hey guys, welcome back to Techograph. Today we are going to learn how to use database with Visual Basic but with using standard controls. So let's begin. In the previous video, we have learned how to create a form and link it with Microsoft Access, but we have written a few lines of coding. But today's, in this example, we will learn how to do it without coding. If you have not checked out the previous video, go check them out. I will link that in the description or there will be a card right here in the top right corner. You can click on that and go directly to that video. So this is called using standard controls. The step are almost the same. First we will create a database in Microsoft Access. Then we will create a form in our Visual Basic program. Then we will link the database and build the connection string because we have to link this to. And then we will set all the properties and done. So in this step we will first create our database. You can either create the form first. This really doesn't matter. So the name of our database we will write example. Okay, we'll create it and then in the design view, we will use the same example as we did earlier. We will use our employee number, which will be a number. Then we will use e name, which will be a text and then third will be salary and it will be a number. So now you have to save this in the older 2000 database because my visual basic doesn't support 6.0 if you have a newer version then 6.0 visual basic then you can use the newer database but i have to do this yes press yes and now this is the name of our database save the name of our table and we can rename it we will rename it emp employee so now what we'll do we will directly enter some data into this so one we will write Akash and the salary will write 10,000 and then in the second we will write Mukesh and the salary will be 20,000 and in the third we will write Ankit salary will write 30,000 so you can see we have recorded three details in our table, three record in our table. So we'll close the database and now in the visual basic, we will create a form. So it, the form will be containing the same three fields, the E number, E name and salary. So we will first use three label. This will be our E number. For the E name, we will use the second label E name. And for the third, which was our salary. And now we will use same three text box because this is where our data will be shown. So three text box. This is the second one and this is the third one. Clear the text in this. And now what we have to do just like this last time we have to use the ADODC control which will be found in the toolbox right click component and in that press M Microsoft ADOD data control OLEDB use that click apply close and now you can see here is our adu dc we will create this here now go to the properties it's same as the last time and we will build our connection string this is our third step z4.0 press next and in this choose the database our database was example.mdb and i have saved it in our document so example.mdb okay First, we'll test the connection. Text you know, successful. OK. Apply. And OK. Now we have to, you can see the third step set all properties. So, first, we have to set the properties of our ADODC. So, in the properties, go to the record source and click on these three dots. You will get this dialog box. Because we have created a table, we will choose AMD CMD table. And this will be our name of the table. Click apply and OK. Now go to each of text box. This three we have created three text. Now we'll go to first text box and search for the data source. This is our data source property and select the ADODC control and second is our data field and choose the field which you want to show here. So this is E number. So we'll choose E number. Do the same thing for these two also for the second we will do the same. We will go to data source 
ADODC in the data field E number and for the same we will use data source ADODC and data field salary. So this is how you, we have created our database using standard controls. We have not written a single line of coding. You can see we have written nothing at all. We have just set all the properties. Now we will run the program. So as you can see the details which we have entered in the database is directly shown here. One Akash 10,000. You can see the second one. Second Mukesh 2000. This is the third one. Three Ankit and 30,000. So this is how you can create a database and link it with the Microsoft Access and Visual Basic and use this type of standard controls. The next video will be about reporting. So if you want to check out that I will. You can also add the add button, save button, add new button as I've shown in the earlier program. You can just directly copy the same if you want to do. If you only want to show the details, you can use this. This is one of the very simplest method of linking database with I will again just explain one time in short what we have done. First we have created a database. So in the Microsoft Access the name of our database was example as you can see example.mdb in which we have created a table and designed e number, e name and salary and enter the details. Then we close this. In the second step we have created a form in Visual Basic. You can see this we have created three labels. Then we have created three text box and then ADO DC control. You can also set the properties to visible to false so that when you run the program this will not be shown. I will run the program. You can see this will be required so that we can see which is the next record. So now when you click you can see the all the three records and when you go to peg you can see one two three all. And then what the third step was link the database. So what we did first we click on the ADO DC and set the record source property. So here is the record we choose this and in this we have command type as our table and in this we have create our we have chose the table which we made in the database access and click apply and OK. Before this what we did for we build a string. You can see this is the same as we did earlier then you have to choose a database access which you have created in the access then click apply ok then go to record source and then go to each of this text box and set the data source and data field property choose the data source as the name of the ADO DC which is ADO DC one here and the data field the data you want to show here these three fields are of our access with these three are in our access table so we can show it here if you chose a wrong like I have if I select e name and run the program then this and this will be set as e name. This is how you can use the Microsoft Visual Basics Microsoft Access to link with each other using standard control. If you have liked the video please press the like button down below. If you have any suggestion query or question in your program or error please comment. Subscribe for more. Bye.